We're less than three weeks away from primary election runoff, and if you plan to vote this go round for the first time, listen up. We have some information you need to know at the polls. Kanisha D sat down with Madison County probate judge Frank Barger with a walkthrough. Judge Barger says the voting process starts before you head to the poll. Make sure you know where your polling location is located so that you report to the right location. Do your research in advance. Certainly our election workers can't guide you or give you advice on who to vote for um, or their position on those voting locations are certainly a neutral place. What to bring a valid form of ID that's not expired, star IDs aren't required. You can bring your phone, but you can't make calls and be disruptive. Um, you can take a selfie uh, with your ballot that is allowed, but I would, and there's a, an act that was passed specifically for that purpose, but again, you have to do that in a way that it's not obtrusive or um, uh, the least bit disturbing to other voters. Also, absolutely no general photography or videography. Here's another tip. Now, if you didn't vote at all in the primary or you voted a constitutional amendment only ballot, you could vote in either party's runoff. It may wear anything that they choose into a voting location. Now, they cannot actively campaign. So you might have on a vote for t-shirt or you might be wearing someone's campaign sticker, something of that nature. Um, you can wear anything you like, but you cannot actively campaign inside a polling location. For more information on what to expect and deadlines, head on over to fox54.com. Kenesha Dees, Fox 54 News.